Oh, hello, hi. We survived Monday <laughs> on to Tuesday. My question to you today is, what's the main story you're telling yourself that keeps you stuck and that helps you in not showing up with what you've got to say, with your work? Yes. That's it, because I think that if we're really honest with ourselves, we have a story we tell ourselves, like for example, nobody is interested in what I have to say, as an example. So then, uh, if that is your story, you're telling yourself, what often happens is that we go out to prove that that's right. So we put something out, then we don't get enough reactions. And then that voice in our head is saying, see, I told you nobody's interested in what I've got to say. Why bother? And so that's it. And I think that what's really so, so difficult about this is that it's not just the story, but that we literally, I think our focus becomes so narrow that we literally only see those things. Like we don't see the one person who, who put a like. <laughs> we saw the, all the other persons who didn't put a like, for example. And so uh, it becomes like um, a, a reaffirming narrative and, can keep us stuck for a long time. Another narrative might be, I don't know enough yet. I'm not ready yet. I'm not prepared enough. I have to do at least 10 other courses before I can put anything out there. And that can, we can stay stuck in taking courses for, for forever. Like, taking courses as an excuse to not put our work out there because we still don't know enough how to put the right hashtags to it or we other marketing strategies. Although I, I lately have been, I always really wonder how, how much helpful are these marketing strategies for artists or yeah, I think you, I'm sure they are to a certain degree, but uh, it's probably not such a good idea to really get hung up on them. And if you don't keep on showing your work, <laughs> there's nothing to market. If you don't show up with what, what you've got to say, or if you don't try out, I don't know, if you don't try out new things and, 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 have some someone to, to give you feedback on it or, or put them out there. So definitely, I think that is a, a big driver for many people. It's the, this kind of feeling. I'm not ready yet. I'm not, I can't just put work in progress out there. I think that maybe is another thing that keeps uh, people a little bit back maybe there's the fear that somebody might steal their idea uh, in there as well and i think for a long time there was just this idea of well you know you don't show stuff that is not work in progress you don't although i think that has changed a lot and i see a lot of even also musicians independent musicians putting out their stuff and and I find it very exciting to see that uh, uh, progress and to see how they are working on uh, the behind the scenes stuff I guess where they're working on their next uh, music video it's it's like I love being taken on the journey so I think people love to be taken on a journey um, what other narratives might be there? I tried before, it didn't work, so it won't work this time. 
definitely know this one. Yes. So let me know what 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 ideas you have with that. But what I want to say with that is that you know those narratives uh, come from a place that wants to keep us safe in a way. Yes. Because putting your stuff out there, putting yourself out there is a risk and we don't know what's going to happen. But what I would say, if you know your main narrative, then you could set out to prove that this narrative isn't true. What I mean by that is the minute, for example, let's go back to the first uh, uh, example I gave with a uh, it's not interesting what I've got to say, I think I said. And if you're trying to prove that wrong, you focus on the one person who did leave a comment and you catch yourself each time that voice comes in and tells you, oh, see, I told you it's not interesting enough. You kind of calm that voice down and then look for the opposite, whether the opposite might be true as well. And you literally can set out to prove that narrative that has been keeping you stuck wrong. It is a lot of work. It takes a lot of awareness, but it can be done. And I think it's the only way you kind of can shift your focus, knowing what your main story is that's keeping you stuck and then setting out to prove it wrong and to say, no, I can do this. There is another way. It might take long time, but I'm going to look for the opposite proof now. And uh, yes, apply some curiosity to it because, you know, if you're telling yourself it can't be done, that's it. If you're trying to prove the opposite, you need to become curious. So when things don't work the way you want them to, you need to ask the question, what could I be doing different? What else can I try instead of just letting the other voice win that tells you, oh, see, I told you it can't be done. Yeah, so that's it from me for today. It can be done. Let's prove that narrative's wrong and let's be curious, I would say. I would love to hear from you what your main narrative is. This is Anja Kersten. I work with hiding artists and creative entrepreneurs. Take good care. Bye-bye.